Hello friends, having understood the conversion of DFA to RLG, let's now convert it from DFA to LLG. You might be thinking that the DFA conversion to LLG will be exactly same as RLG, but no. We have to take into consideration that we are interested in converting DFA to an equivalent LLG. So this LLG should be equivalent to my RLG also. So everything is interlinked over here. This DFA should be equivalent to LLG. This LLG should be equivalent to RLG. This RLG should be again equivalent to DFA. So there should be interchangeable conversion in this triangle. So the procedure is not the same as that we followed in the previous video. So what is the procedure? Let's look over here. So the procedure over says interchange the start state and the final state. Reverse the direction of all the transitions. Write the grammar from the transition graph in the left linear form. Let's look at a problem and see if we can solve it. So we have give LLG for the following DFA. So we know the first step is the interchanging of the start state and the final state. So let me interchange the start state and the final state. So I have my start state over here now. So I write an arrow over here and my final state is over here. So I have interchanged my start state and final state's position. Then rest everything is going to be the same. Therefore my A will be over here my B will be over here. The next thing says reverse the direction of all the transitions. Now if you observe the diagram carefully, even if I reverse the directions of all the transitions, my diagram is going to remain the same. That is because I have taken the question in such a manner. But in the exam, it may not be the same. So just for the convenience of having a feel that it is getting reversed, I will say the first edge was traveling from here to here on A. So let us reverse that. The second edge was traveling from here to here. So let's reverse that too. Similarly over here, this was coming down on B. So let this go up on B. This was going up on B. So let this come down on B. This was going here on A. So let this go on A. And here also let me keep it as A only. So this is coming here on A, so let this go on A. Similarly, this is coming down on B, so let this go up on B. And this is going up on B, so let it come down on B. So my step one and step two are accomplished. Interchanging of the start state and the final state, followed by reversing the direction of all the arrows. Now I can go ahead in writing my left linear grammar. So that was the only change compared to the previous video. So let's start with the procedure now. So here we see that, let's write the production. Now my P is going to be S on receiving a A goes to B. Since it is a left linear grammar, B comes first followed by A. Similarly, S on receiving B goes to A. Then we have A on receiving B goes to S and A on receiving A goes to C and since C is the final state it will be deriving a single A. Going down B. B on receiving a A goes to S B on receiving a B goes to C, it being a final state, it will be deriving one more terminal B. And the last production, C, C on B gives me B and C on A gives me A and that completes my production. So here I see that my LLG is obtained for my DFA. And this LLG will be exactly same if I happen to construct a RLG for this particular DFA using the procedure which we followed in the previous video. So this completes us with this problem. Let us take one more type of problem and see 
are we able to solve it? So going ahead, I have the problem 2 in front of me. Now the first step is interchanging of the start state and the final state. And I observe over here that there is a start state which is also the final state as well as there are two more final states and here comes the confusion as to what to do in this case. So if I am going to exchange the start state and final state maybe S can be exchanged with S but what about interchanging or exchanging A and B to with or to with whom I am going to exchange it. Therefore I say as it contains S, A and B as final states comma we can add a new final state so I'm calling it FS let that final state be called as D by adding epsilon transition from S to D, A to D and B to D. What I mean by that is, if I am drawing a new final state, maybe as we are saying we are calling it as D and we are dropping epsilon transitions from S to D, A to D and B to D, epsilon transitions we all know that doesn't make any difference. They are as good as empty strings, right? So therefore, let's do that because we are sure that having epsilon transition is not going to change my DFA in any case. So I'll be redrawing the DFA with a new state D. So let us do that. So therefore, I have my S over here with me, my A with me, B and a C with me and a D is introduced as a new final state. This is the start state, on B it comes over here, on A over here, another A over here, on B over here, on A to C, on B to B, on A to A, then we have on B on epsilon comes down, A on epsilon comes down, S on epsilon comes down, plus we have one transition from B to S which goes on B. So that completes my transition diagram. So now I observe over here that there is only a single start state and a single final state and they can now be very well exchanged among each other. Therefore I say let us do the interchanging that brings my S down and we are going to call it as the start state. My D comes up called as the final state. A remains over here, B and C also remain over here. So interchanging procedure is now done. Now we can reverse the arrows. So we see cyclic transition even after reversing remains over here. Then I have a, a which was going in this direction. So my A will be coming back over here. Cyclic A is going to come back. Then I have my B which is again going to come back. A coming back. B to C on a B. A to C on uh, A, this epsilon transitions are going to reverse, so this is epsilon and S to D is also epsilon and of course this D to B on a single B. So this hopefully completes the entire diagram. Now, after completing this entire diagram, we can now write our grammar in the required form. 
so we know that we want to write the grammar in the llg form and that brings us to the productions so let us start writing the productions for s so i see over here that s is going to give me epsilon d epsilon d is as good as saying me s gives me a single d then i say s also gives me epsilon a that is a rather i should have said s gives me d epsilon and s gives me a epsilon although both are the same then s also gives me b epsilon which is my single b so i see that there are a total of three unit productions anyways right now that's not the concern let's go ahead i go back to my production c so let me start with c now you can start with anything c on a goes to b so that gives me c gives b a going ahead there are no more productions of c which are outgoing so i jump to b b on b goes to c and b on b goes to a so that completes my productions for b coming down to a i see that a on a goes to a a on a goes to c then i also see a on a goes to d and since it is a final state it generates a single terminal a going ahead to my d d on b goes to d then we have d gives me single b and d also receives that's it ha huh, d also receives a b which takes it to b so that is going to complete the productions for this particular thing and we see that everything is converted to the left linear grammar now you can actually stop your problem over here however if you are quite inquisitive to know the details of it you can just examine this grammar and if you observe this grammar i see that i am going to have three unit productions variable d a and b and here comes the procedure for simplification of grammar so now you have to eliminate the unit productions after eliminating it you may have to check whether are there any useless productions and if there are no useless productions then you can say that the grammar is in the simplified form now you are going to do this if and only if the question is to get it converted to simplified form our problem was getting it converted from a deterministic finite automata to left linear grammar that we have done it however the questions may be tricky in the exam and if that is asked we all are very well versed with the procedure of converting it which we have already covered in the previous video so with this we end the session see you in the next session thank you